Hey guys and welcome to Rosy Scale. So today I'll show you how to create chat-like single websites with the use of Deep Agent by Abacus. You can create websites like this one. And as you can see, this is a self-sufficient website with all the pages that are needed, about, contact, and obviously the chat itself. You can use it. Hello, I feel sad. And this is called Calm Mind AI, which is a chatbot to tackle anxiety. As you can see, this is fully working. There is another variation, and this one has external pages, which is uh, what Deep Agent is capable of doing, as opposed to some of the more potent solutions, even Lobo, I think. So as you can see, these are separate pages. Again, you can chat with a chat. And the reason for these two separate solutions is that this is powered by the internal ChatGPT API. So it's created an internal AI assistant that is then used on the website. And this guy here is connected to the free Google AI Studio. But first things first, I did start with a keyword. So uh, this is going to be available to my school community. This is a hundred keywords, low competition keywords that you can create your chatbot around. Some of the things that I'm noting down is a chatbot for dementia patients, a chatbot for learning languages, for romance, for math problems, and stuff like that. I used an AI chatbot for anxiety keyword. Then what I did, I went to Epicus. I started a new deep agent. And this was the exact prompt that I used. Perform a PhD level research on the latest Techniques for dealing with anxiety and know down the ones that can easily be transferable to an AI-powered chatbot. Step 2. Create me a web app like single page site with an AI chatbot. And this is the keyword I was using, chatbot for anxiety, powered by my free Google AI Studio API. So for those of you who might not know this, if you go to your Google AI Studio and then to dashboard, there's going to be your API key here that you can use free of charge. Then make sure the website is stylized after the keyword niche, looks amazing and mobile optimized. Output as a fully functioning website with a home page and separate, separate URL slugs, supporting pages about us, contact us, terms of service. Then you click on continue. The first step of the prompt, it has to be adapted to the keyword. So here I'm looking at different solutions for dealing with anxiety. If it's a chatbot for math problems or a chatbot for dating, you would amend that. Before I proceed with uh, creating your anxiety chatbot web app, I need to clarify a few things. What would you like to name your anxiety support chatbots? Mine was called Calm Mind AI and Calm Down GBD. For the About Us page, what background or credentials should I mention? For the contact information, what details would you like to include? Should the chatbot focus on a specific type of anxiety? Also, I want to know that I'll be using our built-in chatbot creation system rather than directly integrating the Google AI Studio API as this will provide better functionality and easier deployment. And this is the power of Deep Agent. So inside of my school community and in the comment section, uh, I usually get asked a lot about uh, what is where my preferences stand as far as GenSpark versus Deep Agent. It's fairly simple. I use GenSpark for content creation. I actually enjoy the simplicity of it and I like the result. But Deep Agent has an upper hand as far as creating fully functioning web apps that can use other APIs as well. So whatever we create inside of Deep Agent can and will use the default agents inside of ChatLM, like in this example, but you can also provide external API keys. So these two solutions, this one is using the inbuilt Epicus models, and this one is using the external Google AI Studio, and this depends on what you want. The pros and cons are pretty self-explanatory. So if you stop using Deep Agent, you stop your subscription, you will lose access to all those models. Uh, but if you want this to last, so if you deploy this app and you want to cancel your Deep Agent and you want everything to work, you might as well use the free Google AI Studio API. Once you fill in everything, you click on Next, and this is the result that you can expect. Now, before I review a few final tips, I want to invite you to join my school community. Uh, these are some of the recent results. So one of my students uh, was able to rank 13 different articles on the first place, 
and another six on the first page and that's all in the span of a few days so this is amazing and before i let you go with these chatbots you can go uh, two separate routes and the actual prompt is going to be in my ChatGPT library which is free so route number two would be to create this self-sufficient website and route number two would be to create an html wrapped chatbot which would look like this window here that you can embed in any of your websites be it web wordpress or shopify or whatever and you would have to amend your prompt slightly depending on your goals here i'm showing you how to create full websites so once this website is created and deployed you have an option to attach your custom domain my suggestion would be to go after the exact match domain. So for example, let's see if this one is available, which would be AI chatbot for romance. And this is indeed available. So you buy this domain, you deploy to this domain via the tube agent, and you get free traffic that you can redirect. You can build out a blog section, or you can make this part of a larger ecosystem of different tools, websites, and solutions. Hope this was helpful and I will see you next time. Cheers.